Mm. Oh my goodness. How you got the nerve to be suggestive and swagged out? Y'all know what y'all doing. Yo, what's going on you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything we've never seen. And today we're doing something special, y'all. As you may have noticed, we have been diving more and more into that gaming territory because my name is Random Black Gamer, so why not emphasize that gaming aspect of it and give you guys some gamer-related videos, or should I say reactions? And you guys really took a liking to my uh, Genshin Impact character demos reaction that was an exhausting thing and i told you guys that i would be coming back to do more Genshin impact related videos if that video got a thousand likes which it did but today we're not going to be doing a Genshin impact related video we're actually going to be doing a video related to hokai impact third the animations or should I say, uh, Hankai? However, you guys want to pronunciate that. You know, I know um, there are different ways. I'm doing it more on the eastern side of things, which uh, includes China and Japan, because they pronounce it Hokai, and apparently they don't even include the word impact up in it for whatever reason. That's more of a Western thing. But if you want to get your wheel boost stuff on, by all means, have at it. I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna debate in the comment section. But yeah, man, I have really been enjoying everything, and I know. You guys wanted me to do the reaction to the, um, if I'm not mistaken, the version trailers of Genshin Impact, but that seems like it's going to be a very tall order that's going to be long and strenuous. Uh, even though I had a blast reacting to the character demos, they were very exhausting because I had to sit in front of this hot LED light and I have to be prepared to dive into that. You know, I'm not saying that I'm not going to do it. I am going to do it. I just want to kind of like let that kind of simmer down, let the dust clear for that and jump on this because you guys did recommend me react to the Hokai Impact third animations for all these different characters. And apparently Hokai is a franchise which was the first developed by MiHoYo and the first uh, Hoyo verse. Um, video game and apparently this thing right here spans off into different sub genres of entertainment like they include like animation shorts and series and promotional videos so in a sense it's almost like the persona of um, MiHoYo games you know because you know persona it has its different things and spinoffs and one of the things that it's highly touted on are the animations you know the uh, the 2D traditional animated cutscenes that are done by A1 Pictures and some of the shows you know we don't want to talk about uh, Persona 5 the animation because that shit was garbage it was ass juice but yeah this thing right here it's a beast of its own compared to Genshin Impact and um, apparently it just tackles so many different sub genres, not only in terms of entertainment and media, but also the gameplay genres. Like I'm hearing that this thing, it does so many stuff. Like, of course it's an action RPG, but it's like a hack and slasher, social simulation, uh, bullet hell, whatever that means, platforming, a shoot 'em up and a dungeon crawler, which is basically what, uh, Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus should have been all those different things wrapped in one and apparently it also has like a rock and paper rock paper scissor based system so yeah man so many different things that this thing does and I can't wait to see what these characters have to offer and what that soundtrack do because last time I was kind of slapping a little bit man you know I was shaking my head every which way I almost crook my neck you know but um hopefully this right here is in the same vein i'm hoping it is you know like if, if it's um if it's correlated to something like genshin impact i would think it has the same production quality so uh yeah without further ado guys we're gonna go ahead and jump into this and we will try our best to watch this in order so i looked up a fan playlist so uh yeah this time i've made sure to grab my headphones because you guys have suggested that it's best to watch it with the direct audio source. You know, I didn't think people would really just get um, bent out of shape about that, but I've learned my lesson from my Genshin Impact. So yeah, I'm gonna be using my Spider-Man Miles Morales headphones that uh, PlayStation was so kind to provide to me to bring you guys some awesome content. So here we go. Yo, yo. All right. We at the station, boys.
homegirl just chilling. Okay, so this has like a CG hybrid type animation. It's almost on some Guilty Gear shit. Oh, we got a text from our baby. <laughs> Alright. The fuck is that? Evangelion? Woo! She ain't playing with him. She just wanted to get some from the snack bar. Here we go. They just made their own Coca-Cola commercial. Oh yeah, I'm loving this. Come on, are we really gonna taunt the giant robot trying to murder us? Get ready, get set, I'm coming for that ass! <laughs> mm. I'm already seeing the platforming elements. Anti-gravity boots. Oh. Okay, she didn't got into the booty shorts. Okay, she just changed it while she's in an action sequence. Who made this robot called Nami? She still ain't finished. <laughs> All right, y'all on some Gynax shit. Mm. It's like a multi-special beam cannon. My God. Overkill. <laughs> Just like that. Mm. Kiss it. That's how you do it, man. That's how we do our enemies. So that we destroy them. Honkai Impact. Alright, I dig that. That was tight. That was filthy. Damn. So we choking bitches now? Did you piss her off? Mm. Okay, so she's corrupted. Maybe she got some kind of virus. Wow. Girl, when I told you to unlock your better self, this is not what I meant. Wow. Sheesh. All right. <laughs> That was over exaggerated, but animation was not. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> Invisibility cloak activated. It's like Armor Core, Armageddon, all in one. Damn. She got on her Beyonce dress. Step up.
Mm. Man, she gonna wreck shop on all these things. We will not have it, boys! Get off your pedestal, baby girl. Mm. It's like a super powered robot slugfest. Mm. I heard the word Hoka. Let's get all this heavy artillery though. This shit could easily be a show that I will watch. <laughs> Ain't none of that gonna have any kind of effect on her. She gonna wipe out all that shit. <laughs> wow. Set this shit through portals. Have it. <laughs> I was like, you can have to refurbish blast. Nasty. What happened to her? Mm, who is this Escaflone? Is it going to transform into a mech? Wow, that was tough. What you got to say, girl? You done did all this shit. We underwater now. Underwater squad. There we go. Oh, she coming, all right. It's the same chick, right? Get that shit out of here. We ain't playing no games. We fucking up everything in sight. Ooh. Oh, yeah, she's gonna slash everything up. She's gonna slash right through that shit. Give it to me. It's like the sci-fi version of Monster Hunter. The fuck is this? On a different dimension? Yo, Shorty the lost her ever-loving mind, but her wardrobes are fabulous. I've been waiting on your ass at the door. <laughs> she doing everything with the flick of the wrist and snapping on him, literally. Is that an ultimate attack? Boy. Who knew ribbons could be so destructive? It's not over yet, though. <laughs> Damn. That shit could have caused some damage.
got this. Not at all. Let's see what you got. あんたが目を覚ましたとき、すべてが変わっている。世界はもう美しくなる。平凡な日常ももうない。おお。諦めないで。何があっても諦めないで。涼しに。乗るな。It's like that. Get her. So I slash her ass all the way up. She's a walking plot device. My God. It's like a dimensional slash. Chosa. Oh yeah, I forgot these are based on Valkyries. Ooh. Burst mode activated. Dante from Double May Cry ain't got shit on me! Man, Kiana is way past. Oh shit, don't tell me she's exhausted all her powers. Is she dead? Oh no. She was so cool. Yeah, this chick, she's gonna get worse. She's gonna go deeper down the rabbit hole of chaos. How did we get here? Okay, is there any post credit scenes? I feel like I should be giving that a standing ovation like on a movie level because that's what that felt like. It felt like a short movie, yo. Like the animation teams that they got working on these things, they do a good job of just giving you a vibe of these characters even though you don't really know anything about them. Like that character, when she came out with that sword and she was coming up in that elevator, she looked like she was ready to put it all on the line, which is what she did, you know? She got down for her crown. She a true queen. You know what I'm saying? But uh, anyways, we're going to keep it moving and grooving to this next one, which is titled Cyber Angel Zero Exception. And this is the Japanese dub. Hopefully it comes with subtitles. Here we go. These things get longer and longer, too. Is it? Who beat your ass? Yeah, save the moon crystal. There you go. Uh, 
Of course you can't. That crystal is probably no good. That shit will probably corrupt your soul. You are like you getting corroded. All your cuteness is just diminishing. And here we go with the cliche sinking. This is when a hand reaches out to grab her, right? Or a butterfly. That works. Something's gonna reach out to grab her. Damn it! Yes, Branya. Come on now. She trying to save your ass. You might you gonna save her? That's the crystal you were looking for. Got it off of Craigslist. Ooh, this is where a butterfly motif happens. Like a butterfly super mecha. But these things could really pass for 2D animation, even though it's like CG. She is alive and ready for destruction. Oh! You go, girl. Miracle on ice. Or should I say, Miracle on wheels. Sheesh. You ain't got a sauce on him like that. Nominal. <laughs> so talk about baby. Oh, and those afterburners. Yes. <laughs> Is that a motorcycle? Oh fuck no! Y'all done did it now. I better see one Akira slide up in this shit. Give it to me. Or bitch slap you out of the sky. Sheesh. Who needs a robe when you can make your own? Mm. Oh my goodness. How you got the nerve to be suggestive and swagged out? Y'all know what y'all doing. She ready to crash out. Alright now, don't do too much. Now that look 2D. Damn. Just when you thought the previous trailer was overkill. <laughs> this chick said, hold my tiara. I'm finna show you who the true queen of this shit is. That was tight. They leave nothing behind either. Like, they just kill everything. So did Branya become the Super Mecha? Looks like she became a crystal. Uh-huh. Alright. I'm not sure if I'm watching credits or AMV. <laughs> It's like you kind of had to jerk your head like this right here, like those old school J-pop dances used to do. I am digging this. Oh 
Okay. Is that the younger version of her? Alright, so we see a post-time skip. So I don't want to fast forward this because I feel like I'll be missing out on certain details. Yes. Even that song tells a good story or gives a good description of what these characters are about. You know, specifically that one that they just showed. Lonely Girl. Now this has to be 2D. Wow. So we got another crazy chick on the loose. Hey, ain't that my girl? So she's still alive? What you gonna do, Kiana? That's just a vision, right? So is Kiana back to being a good person? Yes, okay, Kiana getting her redemption back. Let's go. Let's get it, man. It seems like forever where we just seen this character go back to being a good one, even though it's only been like, what, 20 or 30 minutes. But you get my point, man. Hopefully Kiana is back on the good side, man. You know what I'm saying? Me ho you. Now this looks... Greetings, Captain. Man, who ship we Welcome on? See a high operation wind? Center. Have you wondered where the Valkyries came from? I do, what are man. They fighting for? Let me know something. And what exactly does Honkai mean? Please. We will be diving into the history and worldview of Honkai Impact throughout this series. Today is a basic introduction to the prequel of the entire story. Throughout history, the struggle between mankind and nature has never ceased. The Honkai verse is based on a parallel universe mm. that reiterates this conflict humanity's struggle against the Honkai. But what is the Honkai? We don't know exactly where it's from, but it's a force of chaos that existed from the beginning of time. It wants to destroy human civilization, and when human technology advances, it grows stronger. Of course! <laughs> Honkai is trying to destroy us through creating supernatural disasters, monsters and plagues, and giving birth to Hershers, godlike beings who can bend physical laws. It's like, we don't need y'all's help with that, we just throw ourselves. Humanity has already established a high-tech global civilization 50,000 years ago. Modern humans refer to this civilization as the previous era. Mm. Unfortunately, those high-tech humans in the previous era lost the war and were defeated by the Honkai. Damn. The previous era was destroyed, but some humans survived to rebuild human civilization. Okay, this so this is like a motion era. comic. Of course, Honkai wants to destroy humanity, so they didn't leave us in peace, even in the current era. 2717 BC was the date of the earliest record of the Honkai beast attacks. Fortunately, gifted human warriors such as Ji Xuanyan helped hey. us defeat these early Honkai monsters. Shout out to Ji Xuanyan. Ji disappeared into the seas after an expedition to defeat the giant Honkai beast Chiyol. To defend humanity against the Honkai, a religious organization known as the Shiksal rose after the fall of the Roman Empire. Mm. Shiksal was led by an overseer, usually a member of the Apocalypse family, who established Shiksal. It helped create the feudal order by helping various European princes gain power. They also developed crude Honkai-powered weapons and initiated the Honkai Crusades. The feudal wow. armies of Europe fought the Honkai, defeating them in many battles and reclaiming lost lands. To That's increase good. its power, Shiksal also recruited and trained its own military. The Valkyrie Order is the most famous Shiksal fighter. A band fighter, of hot chicks. And a legendary Valkyrie is Kallen of House Kaslana. The Kaslanas are a family of knights known for their prowess in fighting the Honkai. Kallen's most powerful weapon is the Oath of Judah, Damn. an artifact from the previous era that was very effective against the Honkai. It's However, like big many things cross happened piece. in the year 1470. Honkai created an infectious virus that caused the Great Plague and killed millions throughout Europe. 
But Sheikh Sal did not focus on treating the plague. Instead, the leaders wanted to dominate the Eurasian continent and declared war against the Ming Empire of China. The war ended with Sheikh Sal's defeat in 1475. Yeah. To pay for the losses, Sheikh Sal increased taxes and took money from the poor. <laughs> These, These people ain't shit, bro. These are despicable popular. individuals. When Sheikh Sal tried to recover from its defeat, the Great Plague continued to claim lives. Right. Auto Apocalypse, a younger son of Sheikh Sal's... Should have focused more on that instead of capitalizing off the... ...to develop a cure in 1475. Although he was not the heir to the seat of Overseer, Otto's discovery increased his popularity. The deaths of his father and brothers allowed him to become the new Overseer. Since then, human technology continued to grow. Everyone thought Honkai was gone, but the first Honkai eruption took place in 1952 Damn. and destroyed the entirety of Berlin. So they go way the back. The eruption gave birth to the first Hersher, a powerful godlike being capable of bending physical laws. Shiksal, which has become a Is that what Kiana was? Quickly overpowered and captured the Hersher for research. So that has to be what Kiana was. She, she, she seemed anything. like a Hersher. The first Hersher was then transferred to a Shiksal lab in London for additional inquiry. They probably pissed there them that off. The first Hersher was given the name Welt by the resident scientists Einstein and Tesla. Hey. The scientists and leadership of the North American branch were already very displeased with Otto's militaristic leadership. Some even doubted Otto's willingness to eradicate the Honkai. These differences eventually led to the independence of the entire branch, which renamed themselves Anti Entropy in 1955. Mm. Unlike Sheiksal, which relied on Valkyries as its elite warriors, Anti-Entropy designed and built Honkai-powered mechs. Yeah. The second Honkai eruption happened in 2000 and destroyed Siberia and the Russian Far East. My goodness, bro. It turned out that Shiksal were performing many inhumane experiments. Shiksal, y'all need to so stop! Good. One of them, Siren, awakened and acquired Hersher powers and proceeded to take revenge against those who tested on her and her friends. Shiksal yeah. mobilized hundreds of Valkyries and depleted its entire arsenal of Honkai fission missiles. We are wasting too fall. much money and resources on this shit. In battle, including Cecilia Shariak, reputedly the best Valkyrie of Shiksal. 14 years later, in 2014, a minor Honkai eruption, referred to as an outbreak, took place in Nagazora. The outbreak wiped out the entire city <laughs> and transformed many into zombies. Damn. The cause was the partial awakening of Mei Raiden, the third Hersher, mm. due to an implantation of a Hersher gem. The Nagazora outbreak was contained by Sheiksal Far East Branch, led by Teresa Apocalypse. The few survivors of the event, Kiana the Kaslana, names. Mei Raiden, and Bronya Zajcek, were then enrolled in St. Freya High School, okay. a Valkyrie training school built by Teresa Apocalypse after the Second Honkai War. Now we can finally move on to the events in the game itself. Hey. Honkai Impact Third starts in the year 2016. You are the captain of the flying battleship Hyperion, Hyperion. of Sheiksal Far East Branch. You will lead Kiana Kaslana, a brash and hot-headed Valkyrie trainee, and her other friends into battle. Mm. We hope this provides a basic understanding of the important events and forces of Honkai Universe. The rest of the history will continue in future episodes, following the life of Kiana, Mei, Bronya, and other Valkyries in the Honkaiverse. Let's go, man. Look at y'all putting me on game, man. I like that. They had to take a breather from all the ignorant chaos and shit that they were showcasing, which I do not have a problem with at all, but it is good to get, you know, some actual details. Because <laughs> this shit has been insane. Okay, Bronya. Yeah. They ain't playing. They shoot now anything, even cute little girls that can whoop their ass. Oh! Damn, John Wick get blicked? <laughs> oh yes, gotta appreciate a good hallway scene. One take, baby. Wow. <laughs> Bro, Ruby ain't got shit on this. I'm sorry. I would watch the fuck out of this if it was a show. Those shoes are fabulous, too. What else y'all got? Oh, hell no. Are you gonna get out of this? Goodness. Wait 
until the dust clears. She's like she's transforming anyway. Oh yeah, the gloves are off. You NPCs are in for it now. Fire. 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 Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> they really thought they was doing something. Hey, the butterfly. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Is that so? Little chibi laugh. Very nice. Wouldn't be right if they didn't show you some kind of tentacles or hands grabbing on these girls. Get shit out of here. I ain't got no kind of vehicles or anything. Goodness. There you go. You gotta let her go. How are you gonna get back? Oh my god, it's like we're in the fucking Full Metal Alchemist Truth Door or something. Y'all almost had it. Who wouldn't lose their mind in this crazy shit? Oh god. Break the walls down. Hell yeah, we gonna go to the sea, girl. Don't try to skip out on me now. She got a new outfit. Hmm. It's like they're trying to fight you from getting back down there, y'all. Yeah, go back up. Hey. <laughs> okay. Who is that? It's her. She got her own stand? Oh! <laughs> and it turns into a weapon, a sight. The Grim Reaper of cuteness. Mm. Yeah, cleanse the world of all that bullshit. So we gonna get the Bronya. Oh, 
精霊なのですかクロニお姉ちゃん Reach out. I wonder if this is connected to Branya's trailer where she reached and she got that super motorcycle mech. That would be tight. Is there any after credit sequences to this? To every captain in Honkai Impact 3rd, thank you for your last and support in the company. Yeah, so y'all must have a dedicated fan base to this, which I fully understand because this shit is badass. What is that, an Ouroboros? Mm. Hey, popcorn hottie. Flipping and dipping. <laughs> All right, Mirror's Edge. I see, honey. She's lost her marbles. Damn, she flipping upward with it. We don't go down. We ascend. Sheesh. Oh, shit. You better watch out. This looks like a scene from Alita Battle Angel. Oh, shit. Let out the zesty chesties. Okay. Baseball bat? Alright, we're going a little slugger mode now. <laughs> Bitch, get that shot out of my face. <laughs> I was like, fuck first base. We probably skipped past that by now. Like I'm watching a quick time event. Really? <laughs> the fuck? She got bayonet on attacks? Wow. And she got a shot in there. What did y'all put into these girls to make them be so deadly? <laughs> Superhero landing complete. Mm. Do you want to touch that? Wow. Uh oh. Yeah, hey, Mako, man, she always come through. Yeah, you did. Outfit. Hey, the eyes are blue now. Put your cell phones in the air, y'all. He's gonna blast the moon with that shit? Mm. 
Have you? Did you finish those errands, though? Alright, so she's dispatched of the incredible Honkai energy source. You just gotta love that, man. This music. I'm pretty sure it's people have made AMVs out of this. Oh, yeah. You know you want to do it. Feel that shit. So this feels like the conclusion to an arc. Like we're going to be going over into different territories now. Because this feels like it, you know. It feels like... Okay, girl, you had a little screech right there. Somebody get her a cough drop. Very good, man. Very good. Let's see where we're going with this story now. I am very much interested in this. Okay, we in the Antarctic area. Who is this? Trying to see the first dude character. Well, no, this ain't like the first dude character we've seen. It. The first dude character we're seeing in action, at least. And he is not playing around. Mm. She yeah, go White Knight Chronicle on his ass then. Summoning swords. What you got? Goodness. All right, Black Diamond, let's get it. Dawn of Glory. All right. I was short and to the point. <laughs> Shit. Hasn't this girl been through enough already? What are we doing to her now? Has this chick gone corrupt now, too? Oh. <laughs> Shit. Hey, big boss versus boss. Yeah. So this is more like big boss versus Raiden. <laughs> that electric kick. She's too raw for you, give up. Ew. Sheesh. Master Combo. Have a seat, bitch, literally. Throw the bench at her. <laughs> Too fast. Lightning blade, two hit thrust. Mm. 
Got you with that Chidori Supreme, girl. You need to give up. Oh, shit. What? Oh, shit. Here we go with this. Fuck, Kiana, we've already been through this, baby girl. You don't need to go crazy like this anymore. Uh, basically. ボロボロ but so why are you fighting her then? You're literally trying to wipe her out of existence while saying this stuff. Huh. Let the dimension bending begin, baby. They're too fucking powerful, man. This shit right here, this is really <laughs> OP stuff. What kind of weapon is that? So, oh, okay, it's a giant gauntlet. Wow. So these are the main three, right? So why are you on a warpath? All these characters just go crazy at some point of the story. Damn, she got them platformers on. These friendships, I swear. Okay, so we have more credits. Alright, Shattered Memories. I can dig it. How long is this next one? I want to make sure I'm not... Okay, 2 minutes and 16 seconds. That was really good, man. I could feel the emotions. These characters, they've come a long way. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that was one of the characters you can play with at the beginning of this game. You know, one of the three girls. So, yeah, that was tight. But here we go. Let's watch this next one. Somebody's sinking again. Uh-oh. Damn! Okay. We're seeing this again. This was the, the beginning cutscene, right? Pick your side or take this L to the extreme. Somewhere along the way you lost yourself. Wow. Who is who is this guy right here though?
Hey, my girl. Mm. <laughs> Got to take to the skies with her. Lost your bike? Let the calamity ensue, bro. They, they gonna stay trying to fuck up the world to their liking, I see. Yeah, who is that? So if I were to take a wild guess, all these things, they're like different what if scenarios on each individual character that you get to play with it seems like. but as I was saying guys yeah this seems like uh, different scenarios for each character that you get a chance to play with like they all have this moment where they can crack and go into that dark territory and become these super powerful gods hell-bent on destruction I'm not sure if I'm overthinking things but that's what it seemed like you know it just feels that way but uh let's let's keep moving on man let's let's see what else they got to offer us right quick here we go because all of them seemed like they were cool at one point, and then they just go down this rabbit hole of darkness. Sit! See! So Damn! Why they look like they in a Keyblade graveyard? Box your ass in. Fool. What clown are we talking about? Damn. You're the one that's acting like a sore loser right now. Said my girl again. Hey. So, uh, what's her name? Hominico. She continues to give advice. Hey. Let's get it. All right, Phoenix. Okay. You liberated her. Wow. Damn, so that was in her mind? The battle is still going on?
It is. I was like this. Why is shit always falling for one? <laughs> and somebody always has to sacrifice themselves. Are you gonna reverse everything? Restore it? たくさんの裏切りと嘘を味わいました。you could. When they throw the love bomb at your ass, or the friendship bomb. It's like she broke into her gaming room. This world is ever changing. I have grown accustomed to parting in despair. I have lost touch with time. I struggle in these samsara with something, something, my mission. Oh. That walking animation is tight. So this must be a super old character that's gone from generation to generation. She's just been like a Highlander or something. Maybe living for so long has driven driven her insane. Everything changed here and now. It definitely did. Boy, the soundtracks on this shit are amazing. Very good. Y'all gonna leave Kiana alone, damn it. Shit. You're only what? A runt? A Valkyrie? So these are the real puppeteers of everything. I mean, she's impressing me. But these physical feats are off the chain. Mm. Shit, come on now. That's the source. Say that. You can say that all you want. Wow. Bruh. Really? What happened to all the other homies, man? Oh, you know when you see when you see her, it's over. That's the main motivation. Mm. 
Hey. Exactly. <laughs> it's like this boring ass lecture. Let's get the fucking shit up. Mm. Go Dynasty Warrior on their ass. Pew 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 my ass. Now get this shit out of here. Oh lord. Who's that? Hey. That's right. <laughs> mm. Now what you gonna do now? All them strings get that shit out of here. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so all the friends are coming back. Alright, y'all come so far. Why stop now? So you're gonna get violated by these Super Smash Brothers hands if we do give up. Ah, look at that. That animation is off the chain. Ultimate Slash! Lights of Orion! Okay, she has her friend's armor on now. Oh god. That's right, baby. Hey, there she is again. She's proud of you. Everlasting flames, man. You gotta dig it. I know you feel it. To every captain supporting the game. Yeah, man. So that's what they consider the players. Like, they consider them captains. Right. It is. It's like watching a Jaden Smith video. What is that like a terminal? Is this a train? Oh, 
Ooh. Goddamn Mugen train over here. I wonder if it's housing some kind of super mecha like Big O. Everything rises from the ground. Really? So is this a regular train or is this some kind of space shuttle train? Maybe it's like uh, a Astro Train from Transformers. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, you, you have to be upside down. <laughs> All right. Who are y'all visiting? Where y'all going? Oh, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go out into the space. So we go on our intergalactic voyage. Yo verse, baby. Yuri on ice. Here we go. Oh. Y'all give the animators a raise for this. Y'all gotta give them a lot of credit for this, cause this looks really good. But it feels like I'm watching like a, a spin-off now. Like is this still in the same video game? There we go. This feels more familiar. <laughs> Alright. So this is like Honkai Impact Extreme Edition. Shit. But a little bit of that wub, that wub step. Look how the different colors and shit now. That's a SSX tricky ain't got shit on us. All for a tent. They were just doing it to pitch a tent, y'all. Honkita. Shareholder May got a donk on her. Hopefully she backing that thing up for the Lord. Is this the prodigy, the prodigal son that we've been seeing so much about? Looks like him. Okay, 
I don't know if this guy has lost his marbles or what. Hmm. What are they whispering about? Are they finna burn her at the stake or hang her? Oh my goodness, why? How do we get to this point? <sighs> Guess all good things must come to an end. <sighs> like he's battling with himself. All these things look like him. I guess this is his version of a real Slim Shady video. Look at him, he's becoming one. Is he trying to save the chick that's about to get home? There you go, fight! Fight Lord Vaughn. I forgot what this guy's real name is. Alright, bro, what you gonna do, man? Sheesh, it's gonna create one big giant one. Shadow of the Colossus. Now, that looked more like a Metal Gear Ray right there. Uh oh. Yes. There you go. Fight. Wow. Beautiful transition from 2D and then CG again. Yes, the chains of Olympus. Some holy chains right there, boy. Them things been sanctified. Yeah, okay, this is that guy. Uh huh. Judas! Or Judah! <laughs> wow. And I thought he was just a knockoff of Wolfwood. <laughs> okay, that judo weapon ain't no joke. Wow. Both of y'all are done at the same time. You motherfucker. Is that the end? Are y'all really gonna give up? Okay. Yokinokieta Ooh, the given tree of the future. Alright, are you trying to get to the chick? Is he trying to get to the chick? God. Damn. Okay, back to 2D animation again. Uh, 
you gonna save yourself, bro? You gonna break your fall? You're literally cracking. Well, now. This is the most selfish thing one can do. Is that so? So this character was an inventor. Which one was Tesla again? So this was a boy, right? I take it that this was uh, the, the dude we saw. Even though I'm not familiar with these characters, I feel them, man. I feel these moments, yo. This is his girl. I know it hits even harder too, man. Like when you actually know the source material and follow the story to this, this thing just seems like it hits even harder on a greater level, man. Like, <laughs> like I wish I was in the know. I wish I was initiated into this whole movement right here, man. But that was good. That was real good right there. But let's keep it moving and grooving. What you got for me? Yeah, what are they chasing this time? Okay. <laughs> the fuck are we in a persona world? You see a lot of TVs now. It's like the shadow world or something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is a different kind of Hershey than I'm accustomed to. It usually comes in the form of a super hot babe, but this one comes in the form of an entertainment system. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you throw these greatest hits at your ass. Now that's what I call death, volume five. Now now we're in a four by three aspect ratio. What's happening to her face? Ooh. <laughs> Watch those cables now. Ooh. Flip it! Hey, 
Really? So she's going up against a machine. Oh, there she go. She's hiding. Alicia. Damn. Like that? Y'all just gonna count her out? No continue screen? <laughs> oh no, she's not done yet. Dirt Eden. I love the retro look to this. It's like a show that used to get used to come on in the nineties, but it got canceled. <laughs> like the rough draft of Ghost in the Shell. Ooh. It's like we're breaking the fourth wall a little bit. Everything's getting hd fight again. Okay, so this seems like the Hell Blaster elements. Or Hell Bullets. That they were talking about. I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually a mission in the game. Really? Okay. So we go from CGI to straight up 2D Sakuga action. This shit looks so good. It looks like something you foldable would make. Yeah, you messing up everybody's cable connection with all these explosions. Uh oh, mean eye mode. Exactly, we ain't rewinding no more. So I hand over the remote. That looks like one of those Kingdom Hearts platforms. Ooh, got the Yiddies and the Biddies. Celestial Arrow? Sheesh. That's gonna be devastation. Got dry eye, try clear eye, bitch. Clear all this shit up. <laughs> Tight. Very good, man. That was off the chain. I feel like I am doing it a disservice by not looking at the credits when they have visuals like this. Especially when the lyrics literally give you a description of what's going on. Just 
Fuck the amount of time that goes into these are probably insane because they got to rig these characters up and do this squatch and scratch animations. And then you have the 2D team too. Bruh, like the production in this shit is crazy. It has to be. Boobix, Mitch Tubich. And it's no wonder why these credits are so long, right? Because I can imagine they have an extensive team of talented people just doing all of this. That is dedication for you to make these shorts. And I would say it's like, yeah, this would make a good show, but it seems like it would make a good movie too. But it's like, it feels like that with this, like I'm watching a movie when you watch all of them in this order and stuff. Oh, that's cute. 13 flame chasers. That was so cool, man. Very cool. Much more do we have? Okay, we got about four more. This looks like it's in 60 FPS. What's going on, man? It actually looks in game for a change. Stigma space. Alright. So this is gonna be uh spliced with gameplay elements. Okay, so this definitely seems on par with what I saw with Genshin Impact in terms of visual fidelity. A lot of slashing and dashing, of course. And swooping and whooping. Damn. And we already got Kiana in her ultimate form. What you got for me? Mm. All right, got some Yoko Karama shit going on right now. Look at all these vines intertwining on them. Will that be enough, though? Is this Siegfried? Kind of looks like Siegfried from uh, Fate Apocrypha. Let's go, best girl, Kiana. Damn. I like how she used that flame to boost her trajectory. Damn, Dad, you forgot. You are. You could do better. Wake up to see your daughter and another hot chick. Okay. And he still probably don't remember your birthday. Yeah, we're just going in game for now on. Don't really have a problem with this since the visuals already look really good for these, for the in game engine. Okay, burn that shit then. Yeah, you have come a long way.
Look how the edges of her little cape are burnt too. Where are we at right now? Oh, he falling again. Falling into the light. There you go. Is this the ultimate destination? Is this the final chapter? Somebody had a low bit rate glove, like the design. Damn. Giant waifu mode. Oh. All right, she's in Lady Gaga mode now. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's go. They, they ready. Graduation trip. Man, this is a long one. Seven minutes. Really? So this is their final day at school? Didn't we just destroy one of these things? Yeah, who are we missing? Yeah, it seems like all the former villains that we pwned are going to be riding. Okay, so yeah, this is the end. Oh. <laughs> this is the end. Oh. 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 Where does she go next? <laughs> oh wow, even her former insane Hersh herself is bidding farewell. Okay, May. It's like a trip down memory lane. I can imagine that they're extremely powerful by this point. Oh, these motherfuckers ought to be planet busters by now. 
All right, the Hunkai of us. You want to see future Joel? Mm. Okay, so he can finally take a break from all the destruction and shit. All the field trips they've been on. So you've had the graduation music. It's almost like synonymous to JoJo Part 3's last ride. Like, what's that last train ride home? Last train home? And she's like the last one standing, essentially. Well, the animators, they know what they be doing. Well, how do they develop this? How do they make this with one hand? Drifting off to now. Hey, get back up. There you go. So it's her helping her younger self. Now she's walking up right with no problems. The difference from where we started to where we're ending. Every captain, man. Yeah. So that does seem like the end, man. I wonder if this game, like, connects in any kind of way. Like, does it cross over with stuff like Genshin Impact? Like, other things that are under the um, Hoyoverse umbrella? I don't know, but... um. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and watch this uh, cutscene right here, which is titled You and Me, Honkai Impact 3rd. So here we go. What are we talking about with this? What, what is this? This is like uh, the return. Hmm. <gasps> Is that, uh... 
の子のこと思い出せそうなのにはい This is the main chick, right? Really? So you just been slacking off while Seal's been grinding. Look, the visuals on this cutscene. I have no idea what's going on, but it looks really cool. Reach for the light before it gets. There we go. Reforestization scene right here. Very beautiful. Oh, but guys, this concludes the reaction to Honkai Impact Third. All the animations, cutscenes, and stuff of that nature. Really had a blast with these, man. At first, I was a bit apprehensive about watching it. You know, just seeing how. The first couple of uh, cutscenes, for whatever reason, didn't provide any translations or like captions. Um, I was a bit discouraged. I was like, man, do we have to watch all of these like that? But um, interestingly enough, I think that right there was like something that added to the mystique of it all because it made me wonder what exactly was happening. You know, I was looking for the um, actual English, English versions of those, but I couldn't find anything. But luckily enough, they did actually start to add captions along the way. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think these cutscenes do an excellent job enough of providing like little details here and there about the characters in terms of like their actual personalities and stuff. You know, it's like you can kind of feel the trauma that uh, characters go through with this. You know, like certain characters, they've been through this phase where, you know, they become these Hershers, which are these powerful dimension bending mother fifers that can do all kinds of crazy shit but they are just as crazy as the powers that they have you know i just think that's very interesting how they have that you know those abilities and stuff you know like, and they continue to evolve in this world that's not ready for them you know what i'm saying uh i i feel like this one it's the perfect amalgamation of 2d and cg animation you know what i'm saying like I say, I get heavy vibes of um, A1 Pictures, you know, like I think of A1 Pictures uh, with with the way they do personas, animation, and I also think of like um, Polygon, Polygon Studios, like the people that work on CG animated things, you know what I'm saying? Like this right here, you know, I, or what, what's another studio if I can think of it? Uh, Studio Orange. I think Studio Orange is like the perfect description, like perfect um, example. Because, uh, you know, Studio Orange, they work on a lot of uh, CG animated things, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's that series that they worked on with the animals? 
you know, like, um, I forget what it was called. But uh, they worked on Zoids, I know that much. Like, they're one of the pioneers of CG animation, you know, so yeah. This is very good. Uh, if I were to rate it, I would give it a... I gotta give it an S. Like, it did everything that it should do, which is captivate the, uh, the, the viewers, you know what I'm saying? Um, there were times where I couldn't even tell which part was CGI and which part was 2D. But anyways, that's going to do it for us today, guys. I hate to cut it short, but this is a, a camera that only records every 30 minutes and it shuts off automatically. So yeah, um, if we can um, give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and I'm, I'm going to raise the goal again to a thousand likes. So if you guys want me to react to any other things within the Hun Hunkai or Hokai Impact um, video game franchise I would do that after we reach a thousand likes and also be on the lookout for some more Genshin Impact you know I'm going to be reacting to the versions trailers next I didn't think this was going to be as long I could have reacted to that Genshin Impact uh, versions trailer compilation first if I knew this was going to be just as long as the other reaction that I did but hey it is what it is once again this is your boy RBG aka the Random Black Gamer we ain't seen any reactions I'll catch you guys next time peace